We're gonna be making wild caught salmon uh, with a prickly pear glaze, and then we're gonna make a prickly pear sauce uh, with some citrus, and we're gonna garnish it with wild onions from the garden. So Chef Walter, I'm gonna turn it over to you. Let's talk about how you marinated this salmon and what you did and why. I marinate, marinate with the lemon um, to give, um, sometime um, the um, fish is usually have a strong taste to it. So anyway, this is as well, just kind of trim it down to where it gives a better flavor too than um, what, what you're having. So this is just a, another way that I, that I do, or sometimes I put herbs on it, but for salmon, this is the way I, I usually do, or sometimes people um, use zest on it. It depends how you, how you want it, and so this is the way I, I decided to do this. And so dish today. what we're going to do is we're going to sear that salmon. We're going to show you guys how to do this. And we're using some sunflower oil. And what we're going to do is just put some oil into a cast iron pan. Uh, Chef Walter's going to take, we're using a prickly pear syrup. So for this, we're actually taking the uh, fruit and using uh, a syrup um, from a New Mexico vendor. We're using uh, A&J, the prickly pear cactus syrup. Um, this is a great product. And uh, what we're gonna do is put the prickly pear first and then do a little salt and pepper, right? Mm -hmm. So let's go ahead and do that and then show everybody. Put a little, little oil on it. Okay. Okay. And let's get the prickly pear on there. And then we'll do salt and pepper. And uh, the prickly pear, because it's nice. sweet, is going to uh, um, caramelize a little bit. It's going to give a really, really nice color, right? Mm -hmm. And so uh, this is going to be in a little bit of salt. And then let's get that glaze on there. All righty. Okay. And so our pan is really, really hot, and we're gonna put a little bit of oil, right, Chef Walter? Yes. Okay, so let's get a little oil in the pan. Okay, and then we're gonna do the, the we're gonna take the salmon and put it with the top side down because that's how we're gonna be serving it. So let's go ahead and get that uh, into uh, the pan for searing. And then we're gonna do the skin side. Look at that. Mm -hmm. And so while your salmon is uh, cooking, you want to just season the other side too, yes. right? A little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. And then we're going to do those last two, show everybody how to sear salmon. And why would we want to sear salmon? What's the point? Well, it really locks in that flavor, right? Because mm -hmm. we're using a really high heat and searing what searing does and you want to do about one to two minutes right yeah. then we're going to use a fish spatula let's show everybody that tool because this is a great great tool some people love to use this you and like me, i love to use okay you know, and then after it sears for one to two minutes then we're going to flip it over Ooh, that looks great, yeah. huh? Mm -hmm. Let's give it a flip over. And then we're going to do the other side. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. And so the salmon is actually not cooked when we're searing. So we're going to put it on a tray, and mm -hmm. it's going to go in the oven uh, while we make the, um, the sauce. And uh, once it's seared, so a couple of minutes on the top and then a couple of minutes on the bottom, we're going to go ahead and put that into our pan that looks great and then this goes in the oven while we do our uh, next part of this wow look at that so this goes right in the mm -hmm. oven and then what we're going to do we're going to move this in the back here and we're going to make the sauce and so the sauce for this is very easy it's just some uh, oranges that are squeezed. Let's get a little bowl, Chef Walter, so we can squeeze that. So we're gonna use, and while our pan is heated, we're just gonna squeeze that in and uh, 
you start squeezing and I'll start cutting the rest of the oranges. And um, this is going to be some delicious citrus here, right? Yeah. And so we're using uh, fresh oranges because that's going to give us uh, the best flavor. If you couldn't get fresh oranges, what could you do? We could use a little orange juice, right? Yeah. That would be fine. So, uh, yeah, that would be perfectly fine. So we're going to squeeze all the juice uh, out of those uh, oranges into our pan here. And then we're also going to do a, a lemon. And for this, we have uh, some butter. And uh, we're using uh, butter to just finish off that sauce. It's going to be good, right? And our fish is in the oven, and the fish is cooking uh, while we make the sauce. So we are going to add a little prickly pear to this. And um, we'll just add a couple of teaspoons of that. And that'll give a, a nice color, but also the flavor, right? Yes. Yeah. This is really about uh, the prickly pear. And let's go ahead and add that. One, two, great. And uh, this is a very simple sauce, right? Yeah, that should be enough. Yeah, let's do the lemon. And then um, what we're gonna do is just put it in the pan and it's going to be very hot. And then we're going to add the butter. And we're going to be whisking this. And we're whisking that butter in to finish it off. Uh, and put that in there. And then we're going to... Uh Tell them what you're doing, Chef Walter. So we've got our juice in here. We want to bring that to a boil, right? Yeah. And then you're going to take your whisk, and you're going to whisk in the butter. Yeah, just let it warm up a little. Yeah, let it bring it to a boil. You can actually see it starting to boil, right? Look mm -hmm. at that beautiful color. Lovely, right? Yeah. And this sauce, it, it's not going to get very thick, but it is going to have a lot uh, of flavor. And uh, should we add a little salt to this? No. No salt no, no to salt. this. Okay. But we will taste it once we have the butter in there. There. Okay, now that it's boiling, kind we, of, you kind of like just let, let it reduce, reduce a, a little, little bit. Okay. And then we can start to add uh, the butter. Mm -hmm. That's going to be great. And then this is what's going to go over the fish. So let's go ahead and uh, add this and give it a stir. You can add one piece at a time. There we go. And then you're just whisking it in. All right, it's gonna be good, right? Mm -hmm. Should I add the next really? one? Okay. Wait till it dissolves. All right. Nice. Yeah. All right, so one more. Okay, let's add this one. And see, we're whisking, right? Mm -hmm. And why are you doing this? It's to get it get to give the it sauce, a, yeah, yeah. kind of a thick sauce, like you know. Nice flavor, beautiful color, right? Mm hmm. Mm. And you could serve this with a. a but what? Oh, I'll we'll wait till you do that, and then we'll add. Yeah. And um, so the salmon could be served with uh, anything. You could serve it with a salad. You could serve it with a starch. You could serve it with a rice dish. We're just showing you how to do uh, the salmon today. Look at that beautiful sauce starting to come together, right? Mm -hmm. And last one. That's gonna be yeah. really nice. All right. Ah. Oh. And our salmon is in the oven, so that's mm -hmm. cooking. And then we'll just set that, uh, I'll move this, and we'll show them how to plate this. Great. Mmm.
Beautiful, right? Yeah. So constantly whisking, you're constantly stirring, getting that uh, butter to melt. Excellent. And then, uh, that's really good, right? Mm -hmm. So then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna move this. We're gonna show you guys how to plate it, right? That's beautiful, all right? So let's just move this real quick, take that burner out. And let's get a plate for plating. We can take our salmon, which is in the oven. Oh, look at that. Doesn't that look wonderful? And then um, we're using wild onions mm -hmm. from the garden. So wild onions are a Native American uh, specialty. And uh, these come up every year on their own. This is a Tohono O'odham onion. So we're gonna use some of the little uh, onion tops. You wanna uh, go ahead and put your fish on there. And then uh, we like to use the whole onion, right? Uh, but you could also dice it. So you could use chives or green onions for this. Beautiful. And then let's get your sauce and a nice spoon for spooning that on there. Ah, look at that. Set this right here. So we have our citrus and prickly pear. Give it a nice stir. And uh, we're gonna garnish this with um, these beautiful wild onions. So the flowers are edible too, right? Yeah. And um, they have a really nice burst of uh, onion flavor. And then we're just gonna drizzle some on the plate. Beautiful. That looks lovely. And then garnish with some onion. And then here are the onion flowers that we're going to be using. So again, this is a relatively easy dish. We're going to use a little of that prickly pear syrup for color, right? Mm -hmm. Which we're gonna put on top of this other sauce, just right out of the jar. And beautiful, look at that. Get some nice art going, isn't that pretty? Oh, that looks lovely. And uh, yeah, the prickly pear has that magenta color. And you know, prickly pear, the fruits are used traditionally as a dye right? Mm -hmm. You use it in your tribe. Walter's from the Navajo Nation, and they use the prickly pear uh, as a dye for some of the rugs. Yes. Yeah, your grandma used to do that, and um, it's a great dye. So, uh, nice little garnish there with our wild onions and some little flowers. Make it really nice. And so, again, very easy dish but lots of flavor right and uh we have our beautiful look at that plate guys that is just so pretty uh we have our wild onion and we have um a nice piece of salmon that we seared with the prickly pear and then our citrus sauce just absolutely uh, beautiful. You could serve it with a number of sides, but really we wanted to focus on the prickly pear fruits today mm -hmm. and uh, uh, looks pretty amazing, oh, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So we have so much enjoyed this prickly fair festival, you guys. Um, we're just so honored to be part of something. We, we love cactus. We love prickly pear and uh, we use it a lot in a lot of things we do. So uh, this is a great dish to do, uh, easy. I yeah, think everybody, easy. everybody out there could do this. You could do this at home very easily. Um, we're going to post the recipe and a, and a beautiful still shot of this so that uh, you'll be able to make it at home. Mm -hmm. And we just want to say it's been so much fun being your chefs today. And thank you so much for, for joining us. And uh, Signing off, I'm Chef Lois Ellen Frank from Red Mesa Cuisine, and this is Walter Whitewater from Red Mesa Cuisine, and we're just so honored to be here. Uh, feel free to go on our website, redmesacuisine.com, see what we're doing, and uh, it's been an honor. We've been just happy to be a part of this. 
Thank you so much for joining us. We will be available for questions uh, after the demo and we'll look forward to hearing from all of you and um, being a part of yes. great events like this uh, in the future. So thanks for joining us and we'll see you soon.